Hi guys. So today we are talking about Lumeria. Oh my god, I say Lumeria and it just, here's a little birdie that just decided to join us. I don't know if you can see him. Literally, I said Lumeria. Yeah, he's right there. And he just like landed. It's like, I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, Lumeria is in my heart and soul. And um, ooh, I love it. Um, so a lot of people are asking like, what is Lumeria? How do you know you're connected to that? Like, how does that show up for you? So uh, again, I'll just go into like what it is for me and my experiences. My hair is crazy right now. Okay. Um, so Lumeria, like Atlantis, is known as one of the first civilizations on earth. Um, I do not resonate with Atlantis, so I won't be speaking too much about that. I've only studied about it, but I can say that Lumeria, I connect to a lot constantly through meditations. It was a big part of my spiritual awakening process. And I have been to Hawaii, which is said to be one of the areas where Lumeria still stands and one of the original areas on earth where Lumeria was. Um, so it was, this is like millions of years ago like I don't even want to put a timeline on it because I think it's all I you know time is is a whole story in itself but it was before the humans and the human race existed on earth and Lumeria to me from when I experienced it in my meditations and from what I can recall in my regressions it was a higher dimensional society. It was not 3D, like it was not something that you touch from our physical 3D world. It was, in my experience, light body. So I remember vividly being in a higher dimensional light body where everything was light, gold, platinum, silver, you know, solar cosmic, Christed light and it was you know uh, communication with each other was telepathically you know we didn't use English um, and it was a time of pure pure love um, a time where all creation was possible whatever you wanted to create it was um, think of it you know in the way that we think of what thinking is and create it instantly um, purely based on love and only love so there was no duality of darkness it was purely light realms and a lot of dolphins and a lot of whales that's why a lot of times you'll see um, drawings of Lemuria with dolphins and whales it was an ocean maybe I should say that it was a society on the ocean it was a um, a life on the ocean this is why I'm on the ocean talking about this today plus I love the ocean like I need the ocean in my life um, and the light realm of this society like the light encoded society like buildings and structures and palaces and fountains and people uh, light bodies it was all light golden crystalline diamond light on the ocean and in the ocean so dolphins and whales were like family they were our best friends they like I have meditations where I literally like talk to whales and dolphins and I go for a ride like you don't use cars you don't use spaceships you just you know you get around multi-dimensionally in the light realm with your dolphin and your whale and um, it was beautiful like I I think about it and it's just this, like my heart just opens up. Like it's, it's like a huge breath of air because Lumeria was um, this place of creation, of exploration of the light realms, of the higher dimensional light realms. And love-based, it was very high frequency, very love-based. And at some point, Yes, there was a fall of consciousness, a fall of earth, and that's a whole nother video in itself. 
it was an experiment on behalf of earth and the universe to see what it would be like to drop in consciousness and a lot of Lumerians at the time decided to drop in density and frequency and they did come down into a fourth dimensional and then a third dimensional body which means physical like what you see now and some of us me included I do remember deciding I cannot do that I have other work to do in the galactic realm and across universes so I left um, and that brings a lot of sadness to me. I left Earth when that fall in consciousness happened. So a lot of Lumerians um, now do remember having a ton of past lives on Earth. I don't. I remember a lot of past lives elsewhere. And a lot of Lumerians um, decided to leave and come back at this time, which is the awakening of Earth, of humanity, of Gaia, um, to experience the ascension process. And that's what I'll say about Lumeria for now. If you're interested in learning more or connecting more um, with that energy, uh, let me know. I would love to do meditations or sound healings or just talk more about my experiences with Lumeria. All right, guys, blessings. I will see you soon. If you're interested to reach out to me, the website is www.cg slash wellness.com and Instagram is at cg underscore wellness. Okay, blessings. I'll leave you with a snippet of the ocean.